Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a cover for this style of coat hanger. And there's a link below for covering a straight coat hanger. Welcome to Hectanooga One. If you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. I'm going to crochet a strip that is as long as I would need to be able to pass it all the way around the wire. I'm going to start with a slip knot, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch across the chain. Okay, I single crocheted in each stitch across the row. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. So I started in that very first stitch, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Like that. So every row will be exactly the same. Chain one and turn, single crochet in that first stitch and in each stitch all the way across the row. And you'll continue to do this until you have a long rectangle. And it's long enough to wrap around the coat hanger. Now I'm going to start by passing this end through the wire. And then I'm just going to start winding this around. So just wind it around and around all the way to cover the hanger. When you get to a corner, make one extra wrap right around that corner. And when you've worked all the way around, take the two yarn ends and tie them in a square knot. And if you like, you can make a little bow. That you can place that over your yarn ends and then trim those off and then you'll have a little ribbon decoration. The second option for covering the hanger would be to fold it in half like that, pass that onto the hanger, fold it, and bring it around the hanger, and sew it with the same color yarn and a yarn needle. But method number one is the fastest. 